This is one of the coolest apartments I think I've ever seen. Whoa, look at that window. And uh, look at how big this place is. Gorgeous looking kitchen with lighting from the International Space Station. It's got laundry as well as two full-size baths. There's a slanted building, which one? So everybody's calling it the Alice in Wonderland building. I wonder if it's haunted, maybe. Here we are at Franklin Avenue in Brooklyn. And look at that, there's a whole bunch of trains you can get here. And it looks like we've got a 14 minute walk over to the building, that's not the worst I've ever had. And this is kind of interesting, there's like a walkway in the middle of the street, and we're also by a lot of cool shops like this bong shop. Thank you. The products you sell, are they good for you or bad for you? <laughs> My man, have a great day. But that doesn't matter. This coffee bar, this is the spot. You have to try it if you ever get a chance. And the last time I was here, I incorrectly claimed that this barber shop was also serving gelato, but you guys just do haircuts, right? No gelato? We leave it this because it's so beautiful. But do you give a beautiful haircut? You want to try it? Maybe next time. Sure. Have a good one. This is also a French roach coach. Just look at those, that looks amazing. But what everyone does not love is Capital One and their obnoxious fees. And that's probably why they put their awful bank next to that cute little roach coach to try and trap people. Someone's got good taste in bikes. It's a Triumph Scramble Master 900. If I were riding that, I would be the one who gets scrambled because I wouldn't be careful and that's why I don't ride motorcycles. But hey, a six cylinder Mustang. Nobody's breaking the speed limit in that thing. It looks like soon there will be a brand new grocery store. And how soon depends on how quickly the people renovating this place pay their bribes to the buildings department. Oh, check this out. We got a t-shirt design store. If you want to print cool tees, you can do so. And business cards. Business cards are the one thing that as a real estate agent, I've always not wanted to have. They're such a waste of money. You only give them to people who never use them. Here we've got your local bar. And next to that, your local chicken place. Wow, the level of activity at this bagel place is mind-blowing. Everyone must get their bagel and their coffee right there. Ooh, there's another little chicken place. Then over here, we've got West Indian and Caribbean. I bet these are pretty good. Here we got another little coffee bar. Ooh, look at the pastries. Those look amazing. Next to that, there's a hair salon. And then this looks like another bar. There's so many good-looking restaurants here. I think I would have a problem because that looks amazing and I have yet to see one gym. I can't believe how strong the coffee game is over here. But this one's not just coffee. Check out this menu. Hummus, chicken and lamb, cheeseburger, whatever that is. You could eat all your meals there. You'd be in great shape. But there is a full grocery store. Eating at home is always cheaper than eating out unless you make your own junk food. I do that sometimes. Across from the grocery store, we got a little vegetable market. And next to that, we have a discount store. All all the exciting things you need for your new apartment, you can get them here, like shower sandals. Hopefully you don't need shower sandals in your new apartment. If you do, it might not be a place you're allowed to leave. Check out this little taco shop. Everything on the menu here looks really good. And it looks like things just keep going, restaurants and businesses all the way down. And that's great because all of this is one block away from the front door of the apartment building which is on New York Avenue. That's where we are now. I'm just looking for the building. Seems like a decent street, mostly residential. Buildings all seem to look like this. And I think this is it. Look at that big empty apartment in that window right there. Christian, this is his listing. If you wanna rent any of these apartments, I'm gonna have his info below. Look at that window and uh, look at how big this place is. Gorgeous looking kitchen with lighting from the International Space Station. This is such a New York view right here. You never get this anymore. So Christian, how much is this place? What are, what are we looking at today? This place is currently listed at 39.15 gross uh, with a month and a half free. And this has three bedrooms. Two bedrooms and two baths. Two bedrooms and two baths. It's a good thing I do my research before we do these tours. <laughs> There's the entry point and then you're in the living room. And 
space is the name of the game. 13 feet, nine inches by 22 and a half feet. This is a lot. Now, since that's where the kitchen is, I'd put the table over here and that'll make a nice divider between where your living room setup is. I feel like that hole is perfect for an entertainment center. And across from this, that's where you can put a big couch. And since this place is so big, I'm sure that you can fit in a coffee table and probably even extra seating. As far as living room storage, we've got this, which looks like it's it's gonna be your coat closet where you can keep this chair. And next to the hall closet, we have what looks like video intercom. How does this work? I don't know, but I think you'll be able to see your stalker either here or right out there on the other side of the gate. Perhaps you should get a curtain. I love this kitchen. It's really nice looking. And again, the colors that they picked here work well with the rest of the apartment. You got a really big full-size fridge. Next to this, we have a dishwasher. There's a four burner oven, a sink sprayer. But the best thing here is the laundry. This is a washer dryer combo. And I didn't start seeing combo units like this that also had a dryer until I moved to New York. Counter space here is also really good. There's lots of outlets so you can plug in tons of things. That air fryer you're proud of, the spaceship lights can shine down upon it. Down the hall here we find the rest of the apartment. Now over there you've got both bedrooms and then you've got the bathrooms. These are super cool looking. Plus it looks like the mirror lights up. It either Either heats up to defog itself or to make your skin look good. Let's see if it works. Eh. Sink itself is pretty nice. You've got storage beneath it. And look at that bathtub, nice and deep. You'll be able to use it for something other than catching the raindrops from your shower. But over here in the second bathroom, it looks like we don't have a tub. It is a standing shower, but having it that way actually makes this bathroom feel bigger. And you could probably store things over here. This is a really good size. Bedrooms are down here at the very end. Ooh. It looks like they're both overlooking the back of the building. There's nothing to see, but there's no noise. And not only are these rooms really big, they're also really sunny. This one right here, 12 feet 1 inch by 9 feet 4 inches. The bed's probably best over here by the window. And if you put the bed right here, you could definitely get storage in that corner. Maybe a dresser, maybe a home office. Speaking of storage, let's check out the closet. All right, we get an awesome walk-in closet. That's great. You could really get a lot out of this. Let's check out bedroom number two right over here. This looks like it belongs to whoever used to live here 10 feet 11 inches by 8 feet 3 inches set up in here will be similar to the room next door bed should go by the window and in case you were wondering the view hasn't changed it's the exact same view let's check out the closet I don't think it's gonna be any different but let's find out what the heck was going on in here was this a call center and were those the people calling me telling me that I needed to tell them my social security number so that they could verify if anything bad happened I gave them what they wanted but how are they gonna call me back if you had fun watching and if you think my office looks cool, make sure you hit that thumbs up and pick another video up here. I forgot to end this video in the apartment, but maybe I'll do this correctly in whichever one of these you pick next.